Welcome everybody to Season 9 of the X-Mage League. This is Division 1 action between myself and, you can see there, Season 7 Grand Champion Damien Furtado. Um, firstly, welcome everybody back. Uh, it took a bit of time to get this organized, but we've had a good break and hopefully going to have pretty good, another good season with the new set. This is uh, War of the Spark. As you remember, starting from the last season, we have integrated this now so that the the leagues run with every um, new set that comes out, so that there was a bit of a break. Uh, Damien is on Esper Control, and I am playing this, sorry I'm just adjusting my mic, I'm playing uh, Esper Midrange. I've had a lot of fun at uh, Standard FNM playing this, so I'm going to give it another run. Uh, this one here, like I'm kind of against Esper Control because I've played this a fair bit on Arena. I'm, my, my thinking at this stage is that he's probably running three main deck um, Kai's Wrath. I know he's on Esper because you can see from my Thought Erasure there he's got Absorb. He doesn't have a white source. So he doesn't have the two white sources so he's two cards behind at least even if he's holding a Kai's Wrath. So I'm, I kind of want to get aggressive here. And here I'm just, I've, I've got this Tyrant Scorn held up, so my, my thinking is I, um, I want to protect my Thief with it. But I decide I'm going to get rid of Narset, because he minus Narset again. Um, and that's a pretty good draw, that Water Grave. Um, it means that I can play the Thief, or uh, if I had a land drop, I can play Ugin. I, I think Ugin is one of the most uh, underrated cards in a new set, like it, it pops up as a one-off, but it, it can win games by itself. He's, he's flash, he accidentally flashed the Kaya's Wrath, so you can see he doesn't have the the white source. So this is, is an opening for me to play Ugin. Um, I think once this is resolved, you can see that he's got his two Vraska's Contempt. He used one already. I'm kind of hoping he's gonna. You can see I've got the Thief of Sanity underneath the Spirit there. I'm hoping he's gonna Kai's, get a White and Kai's Wrath so I can get the second Thief. He does. So we'll see if he fires it off here. He does not. So he's got one card left in hand. I know what it is because I saw him um, flash it. I can safely play out my uh, Teferi, as Jeff Hoogland calls it. I call him Teferi. So again, he plays out. He, he has to kind of Kaiser Wrath now and get those because the spirits are getting out of control. But you can see now he's out of cards, and I've got two thieves. So I've got the choice here out of just going for the throat with the two thieves, or just play one and hold up Dovin's veto. I'm just going to play one because I'm kind of in no rush. I I just bounce his search for a scanter because I don't want him to find um, filters. So now he's only hitting one card a turn. And he'd had enough, so we're going to game two. Game two, I think that was a pretty good game for me to get because uh, I can get much stronger game two. I bring in, uh, I think, the full play set of Dovin's Vetoes, plus I've got Duress. <coughs> and, and I've also got a lot of dead cards from that round one matchup that I can get rid of. So um, I'm pretty happy to take game one there. You can see I, I kept a kind of a reactive hand here because um, I'm expecting a grindier matchup. He takes one. He takes one of my heroes, which is kind of surprising. It leads me to believe he doesn't have uh, creature removal, and sure enough, he's only got the absorb. So I take the absorb, and he's only got lands left now, plus whatever he drew. So at this stage, I'm just going for the throat. Uh, I'm going to jam this thief and hope that the card he drew or the next one was not a removal, but it was. He has his own thief, and that's luckily a top deck. He got a good top deck, so I get one as well. It's a Oath of Kai that will take down his thief. And next turn, I'm starting to look pretty good. He's got one card in hand. Uh, and it's a removal spell. So now I held up the, the counter spell, so he's top decking here. Narset's a good one. He's going to be able to find something. The problem is whatever he finds, I can take with Thought Erasure, because... Um, well he's going to get my Teferi here uh, because he, he was one mana short of doing anything. I'm just going to fire off a Thought 
erasure on this turn just so that I can get the surveil and also get the the extra guy. Uh, I don't want that land. You can see he's at 22 life. Uh, it's still a pretty decent life total. So my my four power on the board is not fantastic. D Spark is huge here. Uh, can beat a Teferi because this generally this uh, Esper deck only has Teferi. That's the only win condition. And I just hold the Thought Erasure just so I can push through the D Spark if um, in case he's got a counter spell. You can see here down to ten, so I've got him on a three turn clock. And here's the Time Reveler, which I cannot get rid of. Interesting play here to bounce my hero. It kind of puts me in a position, do I want to be greedy? That is, do I want to play the hero first? Or do I want a Thought Erasure first? I decide to be greedy, it pays off. And I jam the Elite Guard Mage so that I can have lethal next turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, actually I'll be one short. He's got a Vraska's Contempt, so he's going to gain life. I'm really surprised he took down the fly there. I thought he would have taken down the hero. And to, again, I'm going to push through five just short of lethal. So it's going to be another two turns again. But you can see he's just constantly hitting uh, a bit of a flood. Not, not a huge flood, because you look at how many lands I've got. I've got a similar amount. He's going to bounce my hero once again. But each time this Teferi comes down, it's just basically cycling. And I can pick him off again. Now my hero is going to present lethal next turn. Just make sure the coast is clear. It is. It's just a land. So he's got a top deck or he's dead. And he top decks a thief. So that will buy him a turn. And of course I only get a land. So he's going to be forced to block here. He can actually block a token if he wants to. I think, I think that, that was a correct play. But he actually blocked my hero because he's on top deck mode now he finds a top deck it's Ugin uh, that will not be enough though